And brand new at six, just an hour ago, Fox 4 helped a Matt Lachey woman win a battle over bills with Waste Pro, as she lost just about everything from Hurricane Ian, including the need to take out the trash. But she said Waste Pro was still billing her for months of service after the hurricane. Why should I pay for a service I didn't receive? Sharon Eilefeld has been calling Waste Pro with promises that they would call her back, but they never did. That is when Fox 4's Caitlin Knapp got involved. Here's that story. This trash on the curb is what Ian destroyed inside Serenity Bay Cottages. We are drowning financially um, and, you know, we're moving out of our house. A reality for so many people after Ian, like Sharon Eilefeld, who owns the cottages. As if Ian wasn't stressful enough, she's now battling Waste Pro. I shouldn't be billed for October, November, December, or January, really. Isla Bell didn't put out her first trash can until late February, a few months after the storm. And then a few weeks later, Waste Pro got a hold of her with some bad news. So they're billing me October, November, December, January, um, February, and then I paid March and April. There's just one after the other, after the other, after the other, and there's no service there. Because service wasn't needed, not only was her business gone, but debris trucks were picking up the trash. So Isla Fell never put out her Waste Pro cans, but they are still billing her, tacking on late fees, and even going a step further. It's time sensitive, you're sending me to collections, you keep threatening me with my credit. Sending her to collections, despite the fact she says she's called Waste Pro several times. Isla Feld says most of the time, she cannot get someone to call her back. And though the bills come out to about $200, Isla Feld says it's the principle, and at this point, she's going to keep fighting it. We've lost everything and we're struggling financially, so I can't pay something for a service I didn't receive. Reporting in Matt Lachey, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.